Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm out and about today, running some errands here on this Christmas Eve. Man, I feel good because we got, uh, man, all the orders. Shout out to everybody who ordered something. Um, we've gotten everything pretty much packaged up. The the only things that didn't go out and they'll go out, of course, uh, Monday was the order of five Joe Bardis, four minis and a large one because I just got finished with those this morning. And UPS closes at 12. And um, the order, I think, for five small ones those didn't go out yet and the one that keeps going to hawaii the one that's going to hawaii to uh kramer uh, those will go out on monday like i said i just got those orders yesterday and had to get them built but i got them built and they're done and actually I have a few more that are left over as well so shout out to everybody that got those and uh we're gonna keep on pounding away at it as i'm driving to my mama's house because she needs some extra containers to put christmas cookies in I um, was listening to Mike McCarthy's press conference, and the players will be in between 11 and 11.30 Central Time uh, to do their simulated game practice. Um, now, keep in mind, this isn't like a padded game and all this. This is really a glorified walkthrough um, to get ready for the game. Of course, tomorrow's a travel day for the Washington football team going to Dallas to get ready for the game. Fortunately for the Cowboys, they're at home for Christmas, and uh, hopefully they've been good this year, and we'll get everything that they want. A couple of notes from the press conference. Nothing new as far as COVID. Again, the players haven't gotten to the facility, or they're probably actually, because it's, a, it's a 1040, so the players won't start getting to the facility for about another half an hour or so. So at the moment, there's nothing new as far as covid uh, cases if anybody else is going to test positive or showing any signs. Um, Donovan Wilson, fortunately, has been looking good in practice. Uh, Mike McCarthy said he's come a long way from the injury, which is good because Malik Hooker is on the COVID list. So getting Donovan Wilson back, you know, we had such high hopes for him to have a breakout season this year, but unfortunately, just been just too many injuries. And, you know, that happens. It's football. But <laughs> There's a lot of contact, and so people are going to get hurt. Um, Demarcus Lawrence, they were asked about Demarcus Lawrence's foot. Is this a new injury, or is this a continuation of the existing injury? And Mike McCarthy put it this way. He said, anytime you have a seven, eight-week injury, there's going to be some lingering effects as well as caution to uh, you know, make sure you mitigate mitigate any problems with the injury to make sure that, you know, the, the joint itself may be still weak or the muscles haven't gotten completely back in because of the inactivity, that you're cautious about what you do, but it's not anything new or anything that they're worried about. They're just trying to make sure that there's nothing to worry about from overworking. Um, as far as resting people, um, he looks at it as Sunday night football playing against a division rival, um, knowing that we've already clinched a playoff spot, really doesn't mean anything. What really they want to do is clinch the division on Sunday night football against a division rival and continue to try and play for seeding for the playoffs. So from the standpoint of trying to say, you know what, we got a playoff spot, we're going to kick back, relax, and put everybody on ice, he said he's gone through before and had 15-1 and one seasons and rested people and then ended up losing playoff games and vice versa where he's had teams that have had to fight to get in the playoffs and didn't rest and win. So uh, this whole idea of thinking that the Cowboys are going to, you know, just say you're completely out and resting somebody doesn't sound like it's going to happen as long as they are still in a playoff seating situation. Now, it is very possible that when we get to the last game of the season against the Eagles, that the playoff seating is already decided and there's nothing really to play, to play for. Uh, he didn't go into that scenario on whether or not they would rest players or not. But what you have to figure is they're going to be doing, and I believe I, I pointed this out yesterday, 
you can rest people without keeping them out of the game completely. And by that I mean, you know, maybe Zeke gets 10 carries, you know, as opposed to 20, 25. You know, you end up playing some more of the younger players to get them more experience and getting them ready to play as so forth and allowing other players to go ahead and recover and see this is what I kind of think has been going on with Amari Cooper Amari Cooper saying that he's flustered with how the offense have done you know would like to get more targets in the red zone thinks that he could be you know part of the solution and I agree with that 100% but some of this may be uh, bait and switch um, so to speak to allow Amari Cooper, who's had the issues, of course, with the plantar fasciitis, to not get too much stress, not to take these hits and things. Get the win, but keep you guys fresh as possible for the playoffs. Because, you know, it's great to, to you know, have gotten the division win. You know, to win your division, to make the playoffs. That's great to be able to say, yeah, we're division champs of the NFC East. But that doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of things because, you know, Tampa Bay didn't win their division last year. But what they got was that Super Bowl trophy. And that's what everything needs to be focused on right now is doing the best and being the best shape that you can and best able to win these games come January and into February. So we'll see what happens. But that's the latest from Mike McCarthy. Um in the press conference. We did a whole lot of talking without really saying anything. All right. Hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you sometime real soon. Go get some of Mama's cookies. Oh, I love Mama's cookies.